hey hello guys welcome to cb rocks yeah today i would like to explain you a few keyboard shortcuts which you can use in our daily life while we are coding in the service now and for the it or people or anyone which are using the service now so let's see what are the keyboard shortcuts are there in service now and let's start now and also we'll see how to enable the image shortcuts. so so if you see these are all the things which we I'm going to explain today of the shortcuts now service now. Let's see how to do that. First, let's go to our instance and let's see how to enable the keyboard shortcuts. So on the right top, if you, see, you can see the gear icon, in that we'll be having the general. So if you see here, we'll be having option called keyboard shortcuts enabled. If this is if this is off, it means that keyboard shortcuts are not enabled. And if you have enabled it, now the keyboard shortcuts will be enabled and we can make use of it. Yeah, just for a basic thing, I will let you know a simple shortcut of opening the impersonate user. For example, if you want to impersonate someone as some mobile shooter or someone, you need to go here and click on impersonate someone. And here from here, we need to do it. instead of this, we have a simple shortcut which is called Control Alt I. If you if you just do that, it will come. For example, I'm just typing here. See, my mouse is not hovering anywhere. So Control Alt I. Yep, it's game. So while we are working, when you're busy schedule or working something, there's no need of navigating through mouse and all. You can just you can just do Control Alt I. This is the one of the shortcut, and in the same way, I will explain you step by step what all the other shortcuts are there in our service now. Okay, these are the keyboard shortcuts. Yeah, first one, toggle application navigator. If this one, if you see in Windows, we can use Control Alt plus C. Sorry, it's misspelled as Control Alt plus C. It should be Control Alt plus C. So let's see. So I'm just keeping here. I'm just taking Control Alt C. Oh, that left navigation bar is toggle. Yeah, this is the one of the shortcut. Uh, we have a simple one like Control Alt C. Yeah, this is the one. And coming to the second one, global search field. If you see, where is the global search field in our normal service? If you are working on some page or something, if you want to search globally, if you need to mouse and we need to click on here and we need to type something, I'm going to do so instead of that we have a simple shortcut for this which is control alt g so let me do that see i am just typing a control rg yep it's focused and i'm typing kb some kb article something oh see i'm not using anything i'm just doing it everything from keyboard itself mm, i'm getting some output here oh, this is one of the second shortcut i would like to say then coming to the third shot here, impersonal user. This one I already showed you. And coming to the application navigation filter. Application navigation filter in the sense, um, if you see in the left navigation, if you see in the left side, this is the application navigator filter. So I'm just clicking on that. If you want to um, highlight that one and if you want to search some incident or something, we have a simple option called Control Alt F. Control Alt. Yep, it's handled so i can open my incidents or something that's it over so here i have just used simple thing Control alt f so this is the main thing um while we are working on some incident page or or it might be any form or something um we just need to check what is the value in the state like what is the value of the state inside it and all those kind of clients could debugger in it so in this kind of situation we can have a simple option of Control alt shift j for example i have group of incidents here let me open an incident so i'm just opening an incident record yeah i have done a few things for whatsapp integration <laughs> don't see my form i get fit i'll do very customizations here okay let's see for example um here if you have some subcategory category and inquiry so if you want to do some any client side actions on the form with the help of the client side debugger for example here here i want to know the sysid of the open open by group field so um how i can i, I need to know the sysid of this normally i need to go here and i need to open all the for example instead of that i can write the g underscore form that object we can access in this clients can depict it so what is the thing how we can do is control alt shift j now here I'm typing Control R Shift J. Yep, client. Yeah, if you see here, this is the debugger I got. 
so for example now i want to see what is the value in the open by group so here the g underscore form object will be accessible so i'm just taking this one and i'm just taking this and i'm just taking this. so let's see what is the c side of this open by group oh is this is steady yeah i can copy it and i can use it in my coding or something so in the same way if you want to take any x take any data here or if you want to if you want to set some value here as well that's what you can do for example set value this is just for checking purpose that we'll use in our day-to-day -day life in our uh, coding part or any stuff while we are working with service now so this is the one of the brilliant feature which is control alt shift j we can do some client side actions here simply by checking so this is the one and coming to the last one navigating to the main content of page navigating to the main content of the page for example if you see here if i open something called some dashboard or something uh what is the main part of this or if you, if you want to navigate to back what is the main part this is the one right so or else here so in this space this is the main main navigation part which uh, which can which we can go to the back page or the main page so for this we have a shortcut called control alt p this is control alt p here i'll just type control alt p so it will just highlight here and if you click on it it will just move on so this is the one and if i have control alt p here if you see this is got highlighted so i can go to a new page or i can create a new page um, in this way we have this window shortcuts it might be useful i mean it might be useful for every one of us and it will make our things easier so here i have written the mac shortcuts and as well the window shortcuts as well if you want please ping me happy coding thank you guys